All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through sponsored, as always, by the deli. The deli will be making a comeback in just six more days until our final weigh-in. Well, six more class days, six more deli days, okay? I'll be your tour guide today on your guided notes. Sit back and enjoy the ride. You do not have to draw a right triangle. Any triangle will do. The law of signs works for all triangles. Now we're getting into some good stuff, okay? Here's what they're asking you. Obviously, you could put A, B, and C wherever you wanted. Make them capitals. Because what you have to get used to is across from angle A is side A. And we refer to our sides as lowercase. So far, so good? Okay, so in between there on your guided notes, it gives you three little important facts. Do you, do you see that? And it's, it's one half A, B, sine C, or one half A, C, sine B, or one half uh, B, C, sine A. Do you see the pattern? That's a side angle side requirement, if you think about it. In order to find the area of a triangle using sines, you've got to have two sides and which angle? The included angle, nice vocabulary. The angle that is in between those two sides. So in task two, do we have enough information to go right to finding the area? Yes, we do. Okay, we've got side A is 12.6, and side B is 8.9, and side 3 is 32, and that's a terrible picture, but I'm just letting you know that it works, okay? So all you got to do is write down area is 1 half times 12.6 times 8.9 times sine of 32, and you get... Help. Awkward. Oh, come on. You don't know if you're right. You're just typing stuff into your calculator. Jeez. And our units will be? But in this case, I gave you meters, so meters squared. Thank you, Alejandro. Okay? Can we do task three? Not yet is a great answer. So we are going to come back to task three because we do not have enough given information. They tried to trick you into saying 1 half 40 times 60 times sine of 25. That's not how it works. It's not an angle side angle situation. It's a side angle side situation. So we are going to come back to that one. Okay? Okay, now it says use an effective and efficient resource and write down the law of signs. Let me be really resourceful. Flip your paper over. Boom. There it is. Effective and efficient. The law of signs is very simple. That's kind of what's awesome about it. It just says that the ratio, what's another word for ratio? The fraction formed by these two things, the sine of an angle over the opposite side, is proportionate. And most of you just kind of write that down and assume it to be true and believe me, which is fine and great. Hopefully some of you think, why is that true? Is it true for tangent? Is it true for cosine? How can we prove that? Okay, hopefully a few of you think that way. It's not true for tangent. It's not true for cosine. Just so you know, only true for sine. All right, so that's really simple. Now we just got to learn how to use it. And then we'll go back and finish this video by doing task three, okay? When it says to solve the triangle completely, 
That means find out every single piece of information about it. So what you'll do is write down A equals, B equals, C equals, little a equals, little b equals, and little c equals. Not to be confused with little c's, who was Biggie's boy. Don't worry about it. You guys are too young. Okay? All right. So just write in what you know because that will help you figure out what your next step is. I don't, whoops, B is 9. Okay? I don't think we have an option here. I think we got to find angle B first, right? So who can, who can set that up for me? Uh, sine, or, uh, sine, sine of 28 over 12, over 12 sine is sine of B over 9, okay? So, we want to solve for the sine of B. So we have to cross multiply and then divide, okay? So sine of B is sine of 28 times 9 divided by 12, okay? Can someone please type that in their calculator and give me the decimal? 3, 5, 2, 1. What are we solving for? We're solving for B. What's being done to the B? Taking the sine of it. How do we get rid of the sine of something? There you go. So what's the sine inverse of 0.3521? Take the sine inverse of both sides, and you get what? 20.61. I'll set all 20.6, okay? Now, what's C then? So you've got a calculator right there. It's 180 minus 28 minus 20.6. Okay, now, someone tell me an answer that C is not. What is a wrong answer here? Yeah, 11. There's no way it's 11. Why? Uh, I think 11 plus 9 is bigger than 12, so that would work. What's the biggest side of a right triangle called? Hypotenuse. Why is it always the biggest side? It's always across from the right angle. So, Noah, why, cannot, why can C not be 11? Exactly. Very good. It's got to be bigger than 12, right? Because this angle is so big. This is the nice thing about algebra compared to geometry. You can almost always check your answers and know if you're doing it right or wrong. Okay? So now we just do the same thing. It'll be easier. Uh, sine of 28. Oh, this is stupid. I need this space. Sine of 28 is to what? 12 like sine of 131.4 is to C. Okay? And you cross multiply and divide. C is 12 times sine of 134, sorry, 131.4 divided by sine of 28. I hope you guys can do that. And what do you get? 19.2. And does that answer make sense? And are you proud of yourself? Good. Okay, here we go. One more. Well, two more. One more on this page. Okay. So we got uh, A is 15 degrees. C is 72. 
and C is 375. Okay? Let's find A first. Max? Sine of 15 is to A like? Sine of 72 is to 375. Cross multiply and then divide. What do you get for little a? 102.1. Now somebody find me angle B using subtraction. 93. Now all of you predict an answer for B. Make a prediction. Just write it down. Just a little it's a little note on your page. Take a guess. I want you to guess without using your calculator what B is. Okay? Do you have a guess? Now let's find it. How are we going to find it? Sine of 93 is to B like sine of 72 is to 375. Cross multiply divide. You get little b is three hundred and ninety three point eight. Who's closest with their guess? Four twelve. That's a great guess. Four oh seven. Four oh two. Four hundred. Winner. All right. Now we're going back. Okay. I'm going to pause the video. See if you can do this on your own, and then I'll put up the solution in two minutes. Okay, and we're back from our riveting vegetarian discussion. That was a very good discussion, and I appreciate you guys having it. Okay, all right, so to find the area of the triangle, we would need another side, right? Right, so we better find side B, because we can. So we would say sine of 40 is to 25, like sine of 60 is to B. You cross multiply and divide and you get B equals 33.68. Now, if we're going to use side A and B, which angle must we use? We must use angle C. So what is angle C? Excellent job. And so the area is 1 half times 25 um, times 33.68 times 80. And you get? Point and this is going to be in square feet. Okay? Check out the video tonight so you know what you're doing tomorrow because I won't be here. Boom!